So what is or how is the perfect competitive market price is determined? Well, that's a definition. We define the equilibrium price. So we assume that in a perfectly competitive market, the market price should be the equilibrium price. And well, what is the equilibrium price? Well, we define it as follows. Equilibrium price in a perfectly competitive market is the price level that equates supply and demand or quantity supply and quantity demand. All right, mathematically, that means if QS is my supply function, which is a price, uh, which is a function of price, and QD is my QD is my demand function, which is a function of price. So the perfectly competitive equilibrium price is P star, which equates supply and demand. All right. Well, why is that so, or what is the motivation behind this? Well, it's kind of simple. So let's say this is the quantity uh, of demand and supply. All right. So this is quantity. And this is the price. So remember, we have a demand curve. Let's suppose it's something like this. And we have a supply curve. And let's assume it's something like this. Well, the perfectly competitive market price is, is this guy where my supply and demands are equal, right? Uh, I'm sorry, this is not the price level. This is, uh, this is the price level, P star. And this is the level where my supply, the quantity supplied, at this price equals to quantity demanded at this price. Okay, so it's the intersection point. Well, why so? Well, here's the reason. At this price, uh, no market participants, meaning the buyers and the sellers, have incentive to change the price. All right, how so? Well, let's suppose the market price is not P star, but something above this level. All right, let's call it P. If this is really the market price, what's going to happen uh, well, if you look at the demand curve, well, only this much consumer will uh, at, will be able to buy this good, or they only this many consumers will be uh, willing to pay this much money for this good. Well, what about uh, producers, however? Well, because the price is you know very good, uh, there's going to be a lot of producers who would like to produce this good. So, this much producer or firm will actually want to produce this good. So what's going to happen is the following. So let's say this is 100 units and this is 1,000 units. All right? So the producers are going to produce thousands, you know, 1,000 units of this good, but only they will be sell 100 units. What's going to happen to the 900 units? Well, here's the thing. So let's suppose you are one of the firms who had excess supply. All right? You produced, say, uh, I don't know, 200 units, and you were able to sell only 50 of them. So you're going to be left with 150 units, right? This is a big chunk. So that's a loss because you produced them, you paid the input prices, and so you basically suffered the cost, but you can't get the revenue. So what's the alternative? Well, the alternative is obviously to go to the market and say, hey, you know what? I am willing to sell those additional products at a lower price. So the sellers have incentive to reduce their prices. All right, so they're not going to take the price P as given. They will actually want to uh, charge a less and less price. All right. So in that sense, the price is, I mean, the, the price level P is not going to be stable. Don't forget equilibrium price is kind of a, a, a stable price level. Uh, nobody has incentive to increase it. Nobody has incentive to decrease it. All right. Well, let's suppose they decline the price so much so that again, Q versus P graph and this is the demand and this is the supply. So what happens is that the price, so this is P star, declines way too much. So this becomes now the new price. Can this stay as the equilibrium price? No, why? Well, because this time there's gonna be only this many producer who would like to produce this. So let's call this 200 units. However, at that price, because it's very sort of discounted, there's going to be a lot of buyers who would like to buy. So there's going to be a lot of buyers out there who want to buy this good, but very few sellers. So what's going to happen? This is what we call excess demand. So some of the buyers are going to go to the market and say, hey, you know what? I would like to buy this good and I'm willing to pay slightly more than what you're charging. So the buyers this time are not going to 
uh, take this price as given. They have incentive to increase this price. Okay, so what happens when uh, price is exactly equal to P star? Well, the quantity supplied and quantity demand are going to be equal, which means uh, there's going to be, let's say, 500 units of product that's going to be produced and all the producers will be able to sell all their products. There's going to be no excess supply, no excess demand, and therefore no buyer is willing to uh, increase the price, all right? And no seller is willing to decrease the price. So the price is going to stay the same or stable. And hence, we say this point, for that particular reason, should be the outcome of a perfectly competitive market. And so we call it equilibrium price level.